Good afternoon, everybody, and welcome to Jaguars Athletics. Today, the women's soccer team is taking on Indiana Tech Warriors. Game time will be starting in 10 minutes.
Good afternoon, everybody. I'm Mark Roberts bringing you Jaguar soccer. Women's soccer is playing today against Indiana Tech Warriors. We're going to get underway shortly here with introductions. The Jaguars come in today at a two and two record and maybe not a big deal at this moment, but those two victories are actually double what they had last year. What a difference a year makes. The highlight of this year is Grace McLaughlin, who got Offensive Player of the Week for the CCAC, having the ability to be involved with six points. And now we have some excited fans, obviously, in front of us that are getting ready to enjoy this game. Uh, so hopefully they'll turn and say hi to the camera. Anyway, I'm going to keep on going with my information here. The Warriors come in here at one and four. And they did beat IU Kokomo last week, so they're on a one-game winning streak. But they are giving up an average of three goals a game. So if we've got Grace McLaughlin averaging two goals a game and them giving up three goals a game, this should be an interesting game for our side. It's a beautiful day out here. We got about 84 degrees we uh, had a little uh, diff disappointing uh, action last night with the men's team against Campbellsville in uh, Kentucky. And so hopefully the ladies will come out and cheer us up with a victory today. I'm going to expect a victory. My prediction today is we're going to look at a 3-1 victory. I have no proof, no goal. That's just my gut feeling. Looks like our teams are about to go out onto the field. So we're going to go ahead and head it out to the field and head up to our PA announcer, Phil Smith, for the introductions. And now the starting lineups, first for Indiana Tech. The goalkeeper, junior number one from Italy, Sarah Kogugli. From Minnesota, freshman number two, Abby Strasser. From Ohio, a freshman, number three, Aubrey Young. From England, a senior, number eight, Abby Hume. From Michigan, a sophomore defender, number 11, Cassie Palazzo. From Ohio, a junior, number 14, Jordan Collette. From Sparta, Michigan, number 21, Olivia Sherman. From California, number 24, Alina Garcia. From Nairobi, Kenya, senior midfielder, number 25, Medi Masiga. From White Lake, Michigan, a red shirt sophomore, number 26, Kendall Stripner. And rounding out the lineup from Oklahoma, number 28, a freshman defender, Emily Giles. And his coach, Andrea Gordon, assisted by Jeff Ritchie. And the grad assistant is Patricia Gomez. And now for the home team on the scoreboard, the Governor State University Jaguars. From Pueblo, Colorado, number four, midfielder, Victoria Salas. 
from Beecher, Illinois, sophomore defender, number five, Alyssa Dillinger. From Barcelona, Spain, midfielder, senior, number six, Claudia Lopez. From Paris, France, a grad student, number seven, Kwamba Dembele. From Chicago, a senior, number nine, Azira Guido. Midfielder from Portugal, number 10, Anna Beatrice Rodriguez. From Ruston, Louisiana, a forward senior, number 13, Morgan Bean. From Sweden, a junior, number 17, Eileen Nilsson. CCAC Player of the Week, grad student from New Lenox, Illinois, number 23, Grace McLaughlin. From Elgin, Illinois, number 24, Jenny Jimenez. And in goal from Bogota, Colombia, a junior, number 49, Valentina Jimenez Figueroa. Your head coach in his first season, Kiko Magana. Assistant coach, Rick South Star, All-Stater, Febo Ariaga. And your grad assistant is Ms. Bruna Krasiewski. Welcome to Crown Point, Indiana. You are at the Sportsplex for Governor State University Women's Soccer. All right, we thank Phil Smith for the lineups. Also up in the press box, getting our stats today, Dean Jennings and our SID, Mark Johnson. We're going to get ready to uh, get under action here. Ladies, by the looks of it, will be uh, heading north to south on the field. Our Lady Jaguars are dressed in their black with white trim, black socks. They'll be heading north to south or left to right on your screen. The ladies from Warriors from Indiana Tech, gray jackets, black numbers, and black shorts getting underway here. Wind is pretty much dead. We've had little breezes once in a great while, but uh, rare little spurts of wind, if you will. But right now, the flag is just hanging right on the pole. No movement at all. Humidity out here is a little high. I don't have any percentage, but it is definitely a little high. Temperature at the moment, according to the Crown uh, Point uh, thermometer, is 82 degrees. So... We've got a warm one. As you heard from the introductions, pre-game as well as game introductions, number 23, Grace McLaughlin, is going to be the person to look at. She's heading over to the far side of the pitch. She even walks with authority. So it looks like the Jaguars are going to start it. Morgan Bean is at center field or midfield. And clock is underway and the game is underway. Governor State spreading out the field. The Indiana Tech team doesn't look like it has the speed of usual CCAC teams. We'll see how that works out uh, this afternoon. Ball blocked by Governor State, but out of bounds. Aubrey Young going to throw it in. Oh. Ref is getting rid of the ball, wants a different one. By the way, he squeezed it. I guess he was not a fan of the pressure in that ball and wanted a new one. Out of bounds, gonna be Warriors ball again. Emily Giles putting it into play. This is your first chance of watching one of our soccer games here with the Jaguars. We are in Crown Point. This is the Crown Point Sportsplex, a beautiful facility. Two soccer slash football fields, eight baseball slash softball fields, from down to little league up to high school age. Yeah, 
But if you are new to watching this, the out of bounds line on this field are the yellow lines, which are probably about 15 feet, maybe 20 feet away from what would be considered the out of bounds for American football on the, on the field. So Warriors. Warriors doing a lot of very short taps with the ball. Keeping control of the ball as much as they possibly can. Governor State lets it go to our goalie, Jimenez Figueroa. Indiana Tech backing up, spreading out the pitch. Indiana Tech right now, even though we're just a few minutes into the game, has dominated the time of possession. But as we've discovered in the past, ah, whistle. Just a wee push in the back by number six, Claudia Lopez. So free kick for the Warriors. Ball is pretty much has not gone past what is considered the 40 yard line on the American football field here. Indiana Tech has kept it on this side of the field the whole time. There's McLaughlin, her first touch of the day. Ball out of play, Warriors ball. Pace of the game slowly picking up. Jaguars really smothering the Warrior players, although the Warriors have been controlling the ball. They have really have had no openings to get the ball up towards the goal. Out of bounds, Jaguars ball. Jaguars have been playing some really good ball this year, as we told you in the pregame show, that the Jaguars have doubled their victories from last year. The Jaguars had only won one game last year. And their lineup's a little small, and I mean as in the amount of people, but as with any sports team, quality can easily overshadow quantity. Out of play, Warriors ball. Jimenez Figueroa, 
passes it back to Lopez. Lopez tried to lead Sa Sa Salas with a shot, put a little too far in front of her and hence put it right out of bounds. Ball back up our way. Jimenez Figueroa on it. Nice good defense. If she would have slipped with that ball, there was a Warrior player right there ready to pounce on that ball and would have had a wide open shot to the net. Out of bounds, Jaguars ball. Ball at midfield. Governor State takes a little control, losing it though fairly quick. No, the, I'm sorry, they still have it. Trying to bring it up, trying to find some opening. Far left side towards the net. Morgan Bean trying to take a shot. We apologize if the shot looks a little fuzzy. We understand we're having a little bit of a uh, signal uh, f issue from our streaming site. Hopefully it kicks right back in. So the Jaguars on the far side of the pitch trying to do something. There's another kick towards the net. Shot to the center towards McLaughlin. It was unfortunately up and over the top of McLaughlin. And if that got over McLaughlin's head, it obviously got over everybody's head. According to the stats, she is the tallest player on this field. There it is, McLaughlin at the net. Stop. So it's time for Sarah Cajoli from Indiana Tech to get some action. It had been quiet for the first eight minutes or so for the uh, Warrior goalie. Now she's had two shots on goal in less than a minute. Warriors bringing it up, Jaguars kicking it out of play. They stop the action, gives them a time to re regroup. Warriors putting it into play really quick, hoping to catch Jaguars napping. No such luck. Nice grab by Jimenez Figueroa. Alina Garcia for the Warriors had an opportunity. Goalie taking it all the way outside. Very daring move by Cajoli. So Jaguars throwing it in. 
That was Salas. Out of bounds again, it's ours. Jaguars in play. Kick towards the center. Warriors defense it well. Little shoving and pushing out there. Nothing to get the ref's attention. Here we go, Warriors on racing for the far end. Towards Jimenez Figueroa. That was number two, Abby Strasser for the Warriors charging down the field. She had a player in front of her to pass it on to. And that player just, well, I guess the white lines on the field were a little too high because she tripped over it. She went down to the ground and uh, Strasser had no choice but to try it herself. Jaguars trying to get something up on their end again. They were up in their area for a little while there. Out of play. Not sure where the ball is. Oh, there we are. 32 minutes left in this first half. So number four, Salas puts it into play. The Warriors take control. Shot to the net, Jimenez Figueroa knocks it down, grabs it. Valentina's been very busy in goal today for the Jaguars. She has been making some real nice saves. So it's going to be corner kick for the Jaguars. Now a toss in. McLaughlin. Way over the top. American football, that would have been three points. This is European football, so it's no points. bit of wind is now moving on to the field. Just a little bit right to left on your screen, south, out of the south and towards the north, but very little that should affect the game. Although it is nice to have a little bit of breeze blowing. Out of bounds. Victoria Salas kind of edging out the warrior player. Salas to McLaughlin. Warriors in front, 
And it's a goal. Warriors are on the board. Number 11 with the score. Cassie Palas Palasolo with the goal. 28-37 on the clock, and the Warriors strike first. So the clock is stopped at 28-37. Jaguars, quick huddle. Going to regroup. In play, Warriors taking the ball. Jaguars. Going to spread the ball out. All of a sudden, the Warriors are not in that much of a rush of bringing that ball forward. They've got the lead, so they could start eating the clock at any point in time that they want. Jaguars are going to have to play a little more aggressive, just like they did, pickpocketing there. Shot up and over. Morgan Bean putting it up and over the net. Trying to find an opening. Jaguars pick the pocket, take it back the other direction. Little trip, stopping the clock. Stopping the clock at 26.38. Yellow flag on number nine. Guido for the Jaguars. Came from behind, caught the Warriors' legs and she went down. So free kick for the Warriors. Alina Garcia. Way in, into the middle of the crowd. We see one player go down, still plays on. Jaguar player hits the ground. Bean and McLaughlin trying to control the far side of the pitch. No luck though. Warriors have the ball now. Warriors. Play it up front, offsides. <laughs> Jaguars trying to get the ball moved back to their goal. They've been playing on the north side of this field most of this game. Warriors pace has seemed to have picked up. Still not very long passes, but they have been moving faster on the field, feeling comfortable out here. Their ball control is 
Excellent. Come on, Gracie. You're faster. Warriors almost taking out the ref. Ref had to do a little hop to get out of the way of that one. Jaguars have the ball. Tossed in. Kick towards the net. And grabbed out of the air by Cajoli. Collision, ref says play on. Nielsen and I missed the, the Warrior player. Collided out there, Warrior took the harder punch of the uh, collision. So, Warrior's doing a substitution. Coming in for the Warriors, Addie Nellis. Check that. It was actually Governor's State. It was off a Warrior player and out of bounds. So it's a corner kick. It'll be Warriors ball. So the Warriors putting in three more. Got number five, Addison Porter. Number 12, Catherine Harold. And number 15, Jocelyn Alfonso are in for the Warriors. As we talked about earlier, the Warriors do have a larger bench than the Jaguars. In fact, looking down at the bench right now, I see only six substitutions sitting on the bench. Meanwhile, I look at the other side and there's got to be, well, twice that. seem to be attacking the ball a little bit more than the Jaguars. Even if they're on offense or defense, it doesn't matter. Jaguars, though, trying to be methodical, disciplined with their passing, being one down, one nothing. You don't want to make a, a goofy mistake. Bringing it up again. Out of bounds. K 
Kendall Scribner was trying to chase it down for the Warriors, could not catch up. It's going to be Salas again throwing it in. And out of bounds. That's the second throw in in a row that Salas threw it to Beatrice Rodriguez and trying to bring it back to Salas, put the ball out of bounds. Going to put it into play. <laughs> Out to midfield, Warriors have control. Besides this game, we do have one more game out there. We got St. Francis versus IU Columbus. Although I don't have any information on their game. It's listed, but uh, no stats have been showing up. Had a few games last night, Indiana Northwest. They pummeled Grace Christian for nothing. St. Mary's beat up on Indiana South Bend, five zip. And Marion, Indiana destroyed St. Francis, five nothing. Some big scores last night. Jaguars moving it around again. Bill on the far end. Ref just calls it Governor State's ball. In the center, McLaughlin has it. Keys it back over to Salas. Warriors have control of it. seem to be getting faster and faster as this game goes on. Warriors bringing it towards the net. 15, no, over the side, unfortunately, for the Warriors. Good news for the Jaguars. But that was number 15, Jocelyn Alfonso. Warriors making a substitution. Shelby DeRitter, number nine, is in the game. McLaughlin. Nope, gonna pass it off to Salas. Little pushing out there by number 13, Morgan Bean, giving herself a little room. It's only a foul if the ref catches it. Yet she's been uh, swarmed, and most of our players have been swarmed by number 25, Medi Masoya. She's been all over this field, or at least it seems like it. And there she is, right in the middle of that for the Warriors. Kick 
kick towards the goal. In! It's a goal! Morgan Bean from 30 yards out puts the ball square center and in. This score is now tied up, 15.01 on the clock, and it is now a tied game, 1-1. So Warriors, they put it right back into action real quick. Diana Ramirez in the game for the Warriors, number 20. Morgan Bean again in action. Getting a little uh, pushy out there a little bit. Each time a player, Governor State or Indiana Tech, try to do a little fancy footwork. And if a defender is near them, there's a little pushing and shoving. Take control. Thirteen minutes on the clock in this first half. Jaguars have now seemed to slow the game down just a bit now that we've got a tie game. Be a little more calculating, a little more methodical with that ball. Ball out of play, Jaguars ball. Back in play. Nice, nice interception by Salas. Little collision, but all in the shape of the play. Ref says play on, no harm, no foul. Warriors taking it slow, finding an opening. Midfield, ball now on Jaguar side. Dillinger catches up to it. Out of bounds by the Warriors. Jaguars have the opportunity when those balls go out of bound. Jaguars have the opportunity of grabbing the ball, but instead they wait for the ball girl to bring the ball to them, who sometimes is a little farther away than the loose ball. Looking like they're trying to use those few extra seconds for some rest out there.
So number 30. Koryama Vilches is in the game for the Jaguars. Warriors ball, foul on Jaguars. Alfonso going to take the kick. Kick towards the middle, curved a little bit, bending to the left. Warriors out of bounds. Number five trying to put that uh, ball in instead, just popped it up over everybody. Porter just put it up high and just sent it out of bounds. It was nowhere near the net, no threat at all for a score. and shoving again. Warrior player down. Ref says play on. After that goal, the Jaguars seem to have gained a little bit of life. They seem to be uh, picking up their pace a little bit out there. Jaguar player down. Number five hit the ground, Alyssa Dillinger. Foul on the Warriors. So Jaguars trying to get something on their end. Eight minutes left in this first half. Foul on the Jaguars, the Warriors ball. <laughs> Seven thirty left in this first half. Warrior player went down. No harm, no foul out there. Jaguars taking it on the far side of the pitch, trying to get some movement, trying to find some room. It'll be Jaguars ball. Jaguar player went down. I wasn't able to tell if she tripped, pushed, or just kind of lost her balance. Personally, I think it may have been that last one. She was trying to turn and spin and lost her balance while she was still trying to move forward. Jaguars putting it up on the far left side of the pitch. Out of bounds. Goalie's going to grab the ball and bring it back into play. Pajoli puts it into play. Just under six minutes left in this first half. Warriors trying to get some movement forward. Intercepted by the Jaguars, although out of play. Actually out of play off of a Warrior player, so it's ours. Yeah. 
stopping the clock, stopping the clock at 512. And they do give a yellow card to number 22, Peyton Kuhn. Peyton Kuhn, a sliding tackle, if you will, trying to go for the ball, totally missed it and just took out our player. Koraima Vilchez. Vilches seems to be okay. Right there, your player. Five minutes left in this first half. Corey, push him off. Gracie, Gracie. Jaguars ball. Jaguars looking to put it in the play. Clock still ticking. Towards the front of the net. McLaughlin. Whistle. Yeah, it's on the Jaguars. Warriors will have the ball. I was too busy looking towards McLaughlin that I'm not sure where the foul came from back there. McLaughlin had nobody around her while she tried to control the ball. <laughs> so Warriors picking up the pace, heading towards the net, towards Jimenez Figueroa, out of her reach, but more importantly, it was also out of the angle of the net. Valent effort, she reached out trying to get it, 3.30 left on the clock. Wind is now picking up. Flags are pretty much straight out over on the far flag poles. Three minutes left in this first half. Out of play, Jaguars ball. Salas in play. Foul on McLaughlin there. She knew it. She just turned around and walked away. Two thirty left in this first half. Ball out of play. Warriors will have it. Trying to make one last ditch effort with 158 left on the clock. Warriors ball. One forty-five left in this first half. A little pushing and shoving. Glaughlin's not gonna have any of it. She's gonna push back hard. Morgan Bean in the middle of the field. Sending over the far side. 120 left in this first half. Warriors ball. Back to the Jaguars. Bean over on the far side. Deep kick into the minute. One minute left in the first half. Yeah, 
Rolls out of bounds. Jaguars ball with 48 seconds left. <laughs> Sends it over to McLaughlin. Out of bounds. Warriors ball. They're going to put it into play with 35 seconds left in the game, or the first half. Falls in. Goalie coming way out. 15 seconds. 10 seconds in this, nine. Jaguars, Morgan Bean, nope, loses the ball. Out of bounds. Two, one, and that is the end of the first half. So after one half of play, Indiana Tech Warriors won, Governor State Jaguars won. I'm Mark Roberts. Speaking to you from Crown Point Sportsplex. We will catch you after the half for the second half of this thrilling game. Don't go away. Join us in 15 minutes.
one one score looking at the stats we got shots seven for governor state six for the warriors shots on goal are tied for each with three saves two fouls <laughs> The Jaguars lead that by a mile, five zip. Yellow cards, each team has one yellow card and offside penalties, one for the Warriors. The highlight of that uh, first half was Morgan Bean with a goal to tie the score up late in the game. And we're gonna get ready. Although, but let's, before we get started, let's take a look at the National Food Day. Today, our National Food Day is hot cross buns truthfully i have no idea what they are and all it does is you look at that picture you can see that it has a cross on the top of it so it's kind of like the pretzel buns that you can find at wendy's or culver's looks like we're about ready to line up here jaguars are putting the last little bit on i'm going to head up to the booth and our cameraman is going to focus out onto the field we'll be back in the action within about 20 seconds So Governor State having the ball taken on the right. They're going from right to left or south to north on your screen. Wind in the second half has picked up. It picked up near the end of the first half and it looks like it's gonna stick around for a little bit. That could be a huge plus for the Jaguars because the wind is blowing with the direction of where the Jaguars have to shoot. We're just underway and we've got 43-52 left in this game. Score is 1-1. Morgan Bean putting a beautiful shot in late in the first half. Speaking of Bean, she had the ball again right there. Out of bounds, Warriors ball. I got, no, actually it's going to be Hallett throwing it in. Hallett puts it into play. Jaguars coming out a little bit faster than they did in the first half. The pace they're playing on right now, we did not see until about halfway through that first half. So Jaguars look like they're gonna play a little more aggressive and attack a little harder. Jaguars in play. Warriors taking the other direction. They've got some opening. One defender and oh, nice pocket picked by number 30, Vilches. Little push there. Actually, a lot of push there.
Last time I think I saw a tackle like that, I was watching the Bears game on Sunday. So Warrior setting up. Elena Garcia is going to be with the kick. Jimenez Figueroa setting net. Kick up and over and off the crossbar. A little tap by Figueroa, but the crossbar took most of the block there. Jaguars, ball back in play. Spreading way out on the field, trying to find some room. Warriors towards the net. Number 11, trying for a shot, Cassie Pelosa puts it out of off to the left of the net. She was racing for that net, had an opportunity for an easy goal, and I think she may have gotten distracted just a bit by one of our defenders. Warriors. Shot, but way right. That's Masiga with that. Warriors playing it up. play. Corner kick for the Warriors. In front of the net. Uh, Nice out of play by the Jaguars getting it away from the net. That one started bouncing dangerously close from the net. And uh, dangerously close to a person in a gray uniform top. Thankfully, Jaguars got it out of the way, got it out of there, and they now have control. McLaughlin. says McLaughlin tripped the warrior player. From our angle, she got caught up in the turf. But I could see how the ref thought it was a push. From our end, we could see wide open space from our angle up here. Figueroa grabs it out of the air. Maybe a little too aggressive move. I know she can grab it and have control of it, but a lot of people were around that net when she moved away from it. If there's one thing that Jimenez Figueroa is and or isn't, and that is she is not timid. She will play aggressive, she'll play tough, She'll play a little bit of a gamble to stop that ball. And so far, every gamble is paid off for. Warriors. 
Tigers in play. Jaguars, Jaguars had control, but uh, Beatrice Rodriguez and Morgan Bean were both closing in on the ball and both backed off thinking the other one was gonna get it. Dropped, hit the ground, the Warriors took over and that's where we're at now with the Warriors in charge. Warrior player down by her own doing. Another Warrior player down, incidental contact. Both fought for the ball. Although the Warrior player number 24 doing a little pushing to give herself some room. Both teams do seem to be playing with a little bit of sense of urge in urgency this second half. Out of play, Jaguars ball. And we've got 35 minutes left in this game. I like the way Morgan Beans plays. She's a tall girl, one of the taller players on this field. And when she's moving with the ball, she puts her shoulder down and leans into the defender. I think a play that uh, LeBron James or Stephen Curry would be highly proud of. Or Reese or Caitlin Clark, if we want to go with the WNBA. What an amazing year for women's sports. WNBA coming on strong. The Olympics, the women shine, the American women shine wonderfully. In fact, a lot of the countries, their women were performing really well and some really good competition. Up front, Morgan Bean trying to find a shot to the net. Just off to the left, but even if she was right on goal, Morgan Bean seems to be complaining to something to her coach. Felt she was either pushed or held. Bean came probably about a foot away from having her second goal today. Warriors have it at midfield. Put it to the far corner. Collision on the field. Jaguars ball. I don't know if it's a planned pattern or possibly our goalie, Figueroa. It's feeling either a little fatigued or sore or hurt, but the last three times she has not touched the ball and one of the Jaguar players have kicked it into play. In front of the net. Nice dive, Figueroa stopping the ball. Warriors wide open net. Not sure why, but she did not come back and kick hard. She just kind of tried tapping it into the net and it gave Jimenez Figueroa enough time to dive and stop that ball. Should have been easily 2-1 right now, Warriors. Jaguars, 
taken away by the Warriors. Bean seems to be complaining about something again. Out of bounds, Warriors ball. We have a substitution coming in for the Warriors. Number eight, Abby Hume. Warriors in play. Nope. Out of bounds, back to us. Deep in the Warriors' end. Goalie picks it up. Warriors bringing it up. Jaguars, nice defense. Jaguars putting it in play real quick, trying to see if they can catch the Warriors sleeping. Got to hand it to number 24, Ginny Jimenez. She's a little lady out there. Any defender near her is usually anywhere from four to six inches taller than her, and she is not backing down. Bounds, Warriors ball or Jaguars ball. Twenty nine minutes left in this game. Substitution coming in the game for the Warriors. Number 14, Jordan Calais. Jaguars, nice catch up by number seven there. And belly. Playing it from the far side, in front of the net. Jaguars get it out of there. Jaguars. We've got 27-30 left in this game. 1-1 one, one score. I'm Mark Roberts, if you're just joining us. Both goals scored in the first half. Morgan Bean scoring with about 10 minutes left in the half. I'm Mark Roberts, bringing you the action today. Eric Mady is here on camera. From the control room, we got Chris Edwards, Francisco Mendoza, and Gabe Misters, making sure all is working back there. Considering I can see the action here on the computer screen, I guess they've got it working.
Sorry for that little bit of silence. The giggles took me over. I won't say why, but uh, had a little bit of a giggle in uh, in me. Far side of the pitch, out of bounds, Warriors ball. Jaguars have s seemed to be a little bit quicker this second half. The first half, the Warriors seem to have all the speed. Logic would have told you that the Jaguars would have been dragging a little bit right now because they have less players available. But they all seem fresh like it's the first half. Meanwhile, the Warrior players are the ones that are losing a step or two player down. I, clock is stopped at 25-29. It's number five for the Jaguars, Dillinger. Walker walking gingerly. Aggressive by McLaughlin, a little push in the back on number 25, Masiga. Warriors ball, ball is out of play. They've switched it, it's actually Jaguars ball. Jaguars bringing it up again. Playing it in quick, hoping to catch Jaguars napping. Warriors again, gonna bring the ball backwards to spread the field. Although the defense of the Jaguars has been looking really good, they've been on top of their players. McLaughlin sending it up to Bean. Bean takes her time. Now she's off for the races. She's got one defender. Sends it out into the middle. Kick towards the goal, and it's going to be off right. Claudia Lopez Dembele had a chance in the middle. Couldn't find that seam to get it towards the net. Kicks it over to... Dillinger and Dillinger, or not Dillinger, Lopez. Lopez takes the shot. Off to the right though. Jaguars have the ball again though on their end. Warriors trying to strike fast and instead turned it over really quick. They keep trying to catch the Jaguars napping and it just does not work. Jaguars are starting to show a little feisty attitude out there right now. They are without a doubt doing a little pushing and they're being the bullies out there. Ball in play. Nilsson, Nilsson down with the ball. Warrior defender, Strasser. Morgan Bean shot on goal, although defended by the goalie. Jolie sends it out, Warriors. Here we 
go, Dembele. Dembele trying to get some movement, trying to find some room. Here we go again. Jaguars again up front. Kick it over. Nice pass over to the Jaguars. It's over in the middle. Conjoli scoops it up. Ball kick. That ball looked like it kind of just dropped. I know the wind is fairly strong going right to left on your screen. Kicked over Jimenez and out of play. Again, a very dangerous, gutsy play by Jimenez Bergeroa. Again, her gamble paid off. So Peyton Kuhn in the game for the Warriors. McLaughlin in the center. Tried to pass it off to Bean, it was intercepted. Twenty minutes left in this game. One one score. Both teams have had a couple shots uh, on goal this second half. Nothing finding its way in. Jaguars spread the field. Jimenez here again. Come on! Sounds like the crowd saw something that our players did not. Ball's up high. Goal, goalie's on the ground hurt. They stop. They stop the action. Clock is stopped at 19.02. Goalie is down. Haven't called for the trainer yet. Nope. Goalie is up. Kajoli is good. Stretching her leg, also is stretching her upper body. Either, or actually, is. Looks like her back and her right hip. Jaguars trying to find an opening. Bean, a little bit of a pull there. Ref didn't see it. Jaguars ball. That out of bound ball is actually over on the other field. trying to play the near side of the pitch. Out of play. Abby Holm with uh, that last ball, trying to uh, get it down the near side of the pitch here. Shot towards the goal, way over the top.
So far, the Jaguars have played this whole second half with a Jaguar player kicking the ball instead of the goalie kicking it or throwing it in. Warriors in front of the net, trying to find some room. Shot towards the goal, nope. Warrior retrieves it in the far end, in front of the net. Jaguars player gets it out of the way, defends it nicely. Still not in total safety. Another shot towards the net. Off the left and out of bounds. Looks like it must have ricocheted off of one of us because the Warriors are going to have a corner kick. Just under 16 minutes left in this game. Kick towards the net. In front. Jaguars get it out of there. Although out of bounds, it'll be Warrior ball again. Ball in play. Some aggressive pushing and shoving out there. I think that's number 30. I'm trying to see the number from here. Which would be Vilches. Yes, it was Vilches. Between Vilchez and Jimenez, number 24, the two of them, they are not going to back down in this game. They, they alone are going to attempt to try to win this game for the Jaguars. Hearing a whistle. Ref kind of put his hands out like, uh, seriously? I guess the Jaguars were trying to inch down the field a little further than they should have before they threw the ball in. Jaguar ball, Warrior player not happy with that call. The Warrior player felt she was the one shoved and ref said, no, you're the shover. Here comes Jimenez, trying to find some room. Up the line, DeBell. DeBell, up in the front, McLaughlin. Just off to the side. Bean on the far side. Bean over to DeBelli. She's got one defender with her. And trying to figure out if it was out of bounds or not. I guess it was out of bounds. Three Warrior players coming in for substitution. Number 13, Eddie Nellis. Number 15, Jocelyn Alfonso. And number 22, Peyton Kuhn, back in the game. So Warriors have it. Warriors, some extra legs. And they're calling, stopping the clock. Yellow card. Yellow card on number six, Claudia Lopez. Twelve forty seven on the clock. Stopped until the kick. And we're back into action. So Jaguars trying to find some space here. Oh, 
McLaughlin. That's right. McLaughlin. She has open space. Three defenders around her. She's getting the speed. One defender now on top of her. Dembele over in the corner. In comes the Jaguars. Lopez. Be Jaguars ball. 11.42 on the clock and ticking. Jimenez, again, gonna take it up the line. McLaughlin, she has open space. Wide open, McLaughlin. Nice block by the goalie. The goalie just last moment stretch get, stops McLaughlin's kick. Jimenez. Here we go again. Sends it over to McLaughlin. Towards the net. Stopped by Cajoli again. Jaguars are certainly going to their strongest strength, with his, which is McLaughlin. McLaughlin, the offensive player of the week for the CCAC. Involved in six points in the last uh, two games that the Jaguars have played into. It's gonna be Jaguars. Jimenez was gonna kick, they're gonna switch. Dillinger is going to take the kick. Dillinger. Beatrice Rodriguez trying to take the lead pass. Unfortunately, a little too much. Ball's out of play. Wind still blowing heavy here. We don't feel anything up here by the press box, but down on the field, you can see the flags are straight out. Right to left on your screen. Putting back into play very quick. They tried to keep catch the Warriors napping, and they almost did. There were about four players that were just nonchalantly walking around, getting ready to go to a spot. And the next thing they knew, it the ball was 10 yards, 15 yards behind them, heading towards the goal. Jolie puts it in the play. It's gonna roll, no, stopped by the Warriors. Just got it at the out of bounds. The Warriors seem to be picking up the pace a little bit. They have a lot of fresher legs out there. The Jag, ball down towards the goal. And out of bounds. Nice stop by Jimenez Figueroa. Ricochets it off to the left and out of bounds. Actually, it looks like it missed Figueroa and bounced off the pole because it's our ball. McLaughlin. Finding Bean, defender, defender takes the spill and unfortunately got in the path of the ball. Substitution for the Warriors. Into the game is Jordan Collette.
clock is still ticking away. Not sure what the refs looking at. Yep, there's a whistle to throw it in. We got 6.51 left on the clock. 50, 49, 48, and that clock just keeps ticking away. Here we go, McLaughlin on the run. One defender. The defender's gonna get in front of McLaughlin and stop that ball. Strasser ran a stride behind McLaughlin. And then at the last moment, put a little oomph in the step and got in front of McLaughlin and intercepted that ball. Althari Guido in for the Jaguars. And she's already part of the action. Controlling the ball, McLaughlin intercepted by the Warriors out of play. And Menace gets it in. Player down for the Warriors. Although foot collision between Lopez and number 24, Garcia. Warriors getting ready to put it into play. Warriors having it out front. Nice sliding stop by number, oh, 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 number 24. Jaguars just got body checked by number, I can't see the number, I believe 13. Addie Nellis body checks number 24, Ginny Jimenez. Five oh six on the clock. It's stopped at the moment. Ball's in play in front of the net. Jaguars getting it out of there. Nice deep kick. Nilsson. Nice long kick out of play. deep down in the Warriors, so it was out of bounds. That's the bad news. The good news, though, it is a whole lot closer to the Warriors goal. Foul on the Jaguars. Clock is ticking. We're at 419, 418. Clock seems to be ticking faster than it should. Both teams picking up their pace, as well as their aggressiveness. Nice stop by Jimenez Figueroa. Warrior players definitely doing a, a lot of bump and run. They've been putting their bodies between the ball and the Jaguar player and doing everything they can to run into the Jaguar player. We got 3.20 left in this game. The clock has now become an opponent for both teams. Maybe the Warriors ball. Strasser gonna throw it in. Two forty five left in this game. Out of bounds on the Warriors. Jaguars ball. Jaguars putting it into play quick. Over to Morgan Bean. Morgan's in the center of the field. Two 
three defenders. Jaguars finding some room. Warriors just gonna kick it out of bounds, regroup and get settled. The only problem is that gives the Jaguars a chance to regroup and settle. Ball and play, McLaughlin. Strasser in front of her. Jimenez a kick towards the net. A little bit of whiff by number 10, unfortunately, Beatrice Rodriguez. Jaguars. Got a minute 40 left in this game. Warrior ball. Foul on Guido. 130 left in this game. Warriors kicking it deep. McLaughlin over to the middle, Morgan Bean. Lopez trying ball going a little too much. Whistle, stopping the clock, another yellow card. Clock is stopped with 108. Ball in play towards the net. Jaguars get it out of there. One minute. Out of play, one minute left in this game. Warriors put it into play really fast. They're calling it the Warriors ball. Clock is still ticking, 45 seconds. 40 seconds. 35 seconds. Jaguars get it out of the way, but it's gonna be out of bounds. Clock is still ticking. 25 seconds. 20 seconds. Warriors, one last gasp of chance. Jaguars put it deep in there in. 12 seconds. Balls at midfield. One long kick. Six, five. Jaguars chasing it down. Two, one. And that is game. Oh, today's game, Governor State Jaguars one goal, Indiana Tech Warriors one goal. We play to a tie. Excellent action all around. Check out our next broadcast, which will be volleyball next Tuesday night from the Ark. But here from the Sportsplex in Crown Point, this is Mark Roberts bringing you the action. On camera, Eric Mady, and from the control room, we've got Francisco Mendoza, Chris Edwards, and Gabe Misters. Gabe Misters, apologies. But have a great evening. Enjoy this beautiful weather, and we will see you next Tuesday on the broadcast. Good night, everybody.